So I had this really cool idea. I like coffee and every morning I wake up to get coffee, but I work really late and so I wake up really late. So there's normally no coffee left. I have to stand there while I'm really tired, no one else is here and I have to make the coffee. Now that's fine because I should just be waking up earlier, but instead of that, I'm going to build a Lego robot that makes me coffee because I'm too lazy to make it myself. So we need to build a robot out of Lego that will attach onto the coffee machine. We need four motors, one to open this, one to disperse water into the back of this, another one to scoop in coffee grounds, and then a final motor that will engage a little button that turns it on and brews your coffee. And this should all happen at like 7 a.m. when I'm still asleep. <laughs> Okay, so step one, we need to find a way to pump the water out of this bottle into this reservoir in the back of the coffee machine without using anything but Lego. And this bottle that isn't like, it's fine. We're gonna actually use pneumatics for this. So here you can see I have a pneumatic pump and we're going to drill two holes in the top of this bottle cap. Like that. And then, watch this guys, we put this in here. Make sure the, the, one, the one that's putting the air in is above the water, obviously. So then, if we hook this up to this. Wow, we've created a water pump. So now we just need this to uh, percolate into the <laughs> back of the machine, and uh, we just need to make a quick little motorized pneumatic pump. A little gear here. Perfect. Now we just need to hook up this water bottle and see if it actually works. That's pretty cool, you guys. That's pretty sick. I've never made one of these before, so there's the uh, there's the idea. So now we have a water pump. So this will all be hooked up to the Lego EV3, which we have right here. And this thing is going to control it. We can put in custom programming and have it all go in synchrony. So now we need to build the arm that opens and closes this little thing right here. Okay, so how do we attach this to a thingy that brings it back? We might have to use a string that is attached to this inner part here. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna need a better way to connect this. We're gonna use duct tape. <laughs> uh, I think, feel like now is a great time to point out. This isn't my coffee machine. Okay, please work. <gasps> I know what to do. What is wrong with this surface? I think that should work good. Beautiful. Now we need to build a base that goes all the way around and then we need to build the scooper. So we have here this little space piece. It was from like Star Wars or something. We're gonna actually use this for the scoop that will put the coffee in. All we need is a little hinging mechanism on the side, just like that. It'll actually put the coffee in. Perfect. So in order for this to not fling coffee grounds everywhere, the plan is that we have it like this on the side of the machine, the machine's right here, and then we have it go super fast and then it has a little stop in the programming. So hopefully, we're gonna fill this up with coffee grounds. Hopefully the coffee grounds won't go everywhere. We stop this right here at my finger. It'll have a hard stop and it'll just poof, right down into the filter. Speaking of which, the filter's already gonna be in there because there's too many robot arms. Now to install that. Okay, perfect. Now we just need to build a button on the front. Ouch. there. There's no way this thing actually pushes the button. It's going to be the loosest thing. There's no, like, you'd have to swing. I guess it could do it. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Motor control. Oh. Hey, it worked. Look guys, the light's turning on and off. That's perfect. Okay, so the next step, now that we have all of the mechanics done, we're gonna take our EV3 brick and do some simple programming. Please enjoy the next 15 second montage of me coding this. And don't click out. <laughs> and don't skip ahead because it, it's worth watching, trust me. Okay, so we've opened up a new project here. The first thing it needs to do is open the lid. So let's grab that motor. Let's just go five rotations, 75% speed. So five rotations opens the lid, which is great. So we need the coffee grounds to go in next. It is so dark in here. So let's just uh, grab this same thing and we'll call it C. Let's run it for 0.5 rotations at 20% speed. 
So it's B, it's not C. Uh, I was lied to. B. Perfect, 20% speed is really fast. Let's go 10% speed. We need to see how long it takes for the water in this bottle to you know, empty out into this. So that way we know how long to run the motor. Okay. Okay. One minute, 46 seconds, and you can see all the water has transferred into this cup. And I think now we're good to put it into the program. All right, so I have a theory, and my theory is that <laughs> this old scoop that we had up here will actually, you know, just go everywhere and not work. So I have this new idea, it's a new concept I like to call gyroscope thing. And so we attach this so that it's always, it flips over and the thing is always holding the coffee. When it gets to about here, a little string will tug and it'll tug and then this side will go and dump the coffee in. That is my plan. Now I just have to build it and hopefully that will work. We're two hours and 10 minutes in. Uh, that should solve that problem that I did not want to try to test out. Here's my system. We have our coffee grounds, and as soon as this motor turns, all, all we're doing is turning the motor. Check us out. It stays up until it hits the motor, and then it tips. That is pretty darn cool. <laughs> and what's making it tip is just this string, so it can't, it has to tip when it gets to there, but anywhere else it is just level. We should move that scoop like this far forward, but then I need a coffee mug. <laughs> It's working out, guys. It's putting the water in there, and then it's gonna hit the button. I'm excited. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. Nothing like seeing something like this to really just start your morning. It looks like coffee to me, you guys. I don't know. Now the question, does it taste like crap? That's the question. Get some creamer, I guess. All right, pour ourselves some coffee. A few grounds in there. That's to be expected, because it literally spilled it everywhere. <laughs> That's fine. Some creamer. It's not bad. We can make the scoop a little bigger. It needs a little more coffee, but... Hey, Ella, you wanna try my robot coffee? Wait, what's in It's just cream and sugar. It's coffee. What does it taste like? Nice. I'm gonna need the rest of that thing. <laughs> that was my sister. Guys, should you hack your coffee machine with Lego motors and spend three hours and 25 minutes doing it so that you can save 10 minutes the next day? Heck yeah, you should. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.